<ride> in my garage. Thank you very much. Benvenuti. Grazie. E here we are in this beautiful place where uh, we're going to talk today about uh, uh, classic motoring and uh, racing and many other things including this beautiful Fiat 127 special um, and R Ricky's going to tell us all about his past and his connection with motoring and racing. Go ahead, tell us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my, first of all, my passion in motorsport uh, uh, born when I was very young. My father is a, a mechanical engineer and he uh, raced a lot with go-kart uh, and I usually, in the past, I move uh, to see him in a race track uh, and my seeing him, my passion growing. Uh, when I see uh, that, I mean that I was two, three years old, I was very, very young. Ten years later, when I was 12 years old, I decided myself, of course, driving a go-kart and I did this uh, sport for two years. And I started driving uh, Jaguar, uh, Audi R8 uh, and many other cars in a racetrack, making a, a fast driving training. Uh, some uh, years later, I decided to uh, su subscribe, I, I don't know, my participation. Uh, yes, for about the campionato, about tourism, it's called the Trofeo Turismo Magione. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was opened uh, to the drivers from all Italy. But it's Magione is the town near where we are located in Umbria, yes. there is a racetrack. Yes, and uh, there is a very, very famous in the past uh, championship called the TTM, mm -hmm. Trofeo Turismo Magione, and they uh, race for three years uh, with Fiat Barchetta in that championship, and at the end I begin, uh, in second, I finish the championship in second position in a general classify. In the second place? Play second place. For the one year championship. Yes. And uh, then I move in other championship, more important national level championship like Lotus Cup Italia. I drove uh, in a hill climb uh, race that is quite dangerous. And a six hour endurance race. Uh, I drove... Six hour yes. endurance race. Endurance race. And then uh, I drive also with uh, Formula Renault, Lotus, other cars, uh, he climb with uh, 500 yeah. Abarth. Uh, yeah, these are photos of your dad. Yes, uh, with my dad, I, it's uh, with Formula Renault, other cars. I did also the last uh, important experience, finish in 2020 with uh, my third place in general classific. But what is that black and white photo? This one, uh, we have probably the, the, the cars uh, in our blood because yeah. this one is my, is the father of my grandfather driving one of the first so cars. Great, great father. Yes. Driving, driving one, of one of the first uh, cars in the, in the, in the area. In the, in, the, in the area. And uh, it's a Fiat 501. And it's very nice car, yes. And you can see that uh, in that period in Italy, the the drive was on the right, not on the left, yeah, yeah, like yeah. like nowadays in Absolutely. England, in England, in the other uh, place. Yeah. And uh, my last uh, uh, race with car is 2020. My last race uh, with go kart uh, is in 2023. Is a is a very endurance, very long. We never say last. We no, never yes, say last. <laughs> last for the moment. But last for, for the, the moment. moment. When yes. you decided to put it again on hold because of uh, growing family and growing your business. Yes, course. yes. Yes, we do have that. I, I need Life to. Life gets in the way, but 
The passion never stops. No, right? never and stop. Also, because yeah, now exactly. I'm a, a journalist for a, a very important national magazine called right. Elaborare, and I tell every month about uh, the club Lotus Italia race and uh, uh, Raduni. Uh, Italian Lotus Club. Italian Lotus all Club. The meetings and the, gatherings. Yes, and meeting tours in. A, and and Rallies. make us, yes, yeah. and also they they focus uh, every Sunday of the that meeting in uh, one different uh, racetrack around Italy. Great. So the passion never stops, no. and that's how in 2020 you arrived to get in this baby. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> Only cool cars have black bonnets. Why? This model, why another Fiat, Fiat Barchetta, Fiat 500, <laughs> now Fiat 127, special. Uh, how did you uh, choose this car? How did you arrive at this uh, point and why this model? Uh, first of all, uh, I, uh, in 2020, uh, at the end of 2020, I decided to bought this car. Uh, first of all, because in that particular period, uh, the COVID uh, changed our life uh, in every way, and my company was close about uh, the restriction. And I have many, many hours, and days, uh, and some case months free uh, to do everything. But I need something that kept my mind uh, ready, my mind working, also in a very low period because uh, if you have your company in close uh, you don't have anything to do it's not the best way th for your mind and i decide to put myself in a passion the lotus championship first of all and in the meantime i decide to buy one car in order to make better uh, is a uh, high looking for first of all about uh, Mini Mini Cooper uh, was my first the choice. Mini. The original Mini. I looking for something about si si 17, 80 years. Uh, no years old, so by 80, 1970, 1980, more or less. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found uh, uh, this uh, adver the advertising about this car. And I said, wow, it's interesting. It's not my first choice, but I have the chance to move with the, the owner of my, uh, my team to the Lotus. I was moving with him to see this car. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting because the owner, uh, it's uh, in the past, in, uh, in 1970, was uh, a, a champion like team mm -hmm. uh, about uh, in the championship, championship uh, ah. and uh, the Fiat 127. There was a separate championship yeah. just yeah. for this model. Yes, for this model in 1970, and he was, uh, he he was, was successful. Yes, successful yeah. uh, mechanic, successful okay. uh, team, and it's a good occasion because he know exactly this car, he know exactly how to improve this car. And that is more important than the kind of car. We arrive uh, near uh, Magione to see this car and was perfect inside, was perfect outside because they just restoring this car and, uh, but and need only to improve the mechanical uh, performance. Bits, yeah. So four speed gearbox and 45 horsepower. Yes. That's where you start. Yes. yes. In a black bonnet or no? And yes. yes. Aesthetic, Aesthetic outside. Aesthetically it was. Yes. Also like the, the wheels uh, uh -huh. is Chromodora. Si, si. Chromodora is very valuable, Absolutely. very sportive Absolutely. kind of wheels. We all know about that, right? Yeah. Wheels, if you don't know, Google it. We we just we just uh, color it in black, uh -huh. but we keep uh, aesthetics similar. Okay. Of course, we change the front because we first of all we re remove reduce the, the we remove the bumper in order to reduce 20 kilograms about the weight. Okay. We remove uh, inside the 
spare wheels. Okay, which was always here. Inside is other 10 kilograms. Can we pop it yes. Up? You have uh, done a lot of work here. Yes. Which is. Uh, yes. Is, what it is. Allora, we, after reducing weight uh, about uh, more or less 40 kilograms, we completely... Which is a lot for this car, yes. because the car is originally... We consider that now it's uh, 680 kilograms. Now? Now. Originally Original 720, because now with all liquid inside, I mean. Is 60 and 80 in the original with liquid 17 20 more or less kilograms that is a lot 40 kilograms in with this small power and we we did a lot inside here most inside of the engine engine or Alla. engine bay everything bay. gone the spare wheel yes no spare wheel. we put this in order to Race. improve yes. the rigi front the rigid. rigidity yes. and uh, we completely Turn remove up. every single piece from the engine completely okay so it was completely disassembled yes disassembled and reassembled and reassembled with, with the new, uh, parts? new parts which, which uh, like uh, uh, pistons okay huh. the the um, albero a camme a valve uh, valve shaft, uh, yeah. shaft camshaft cam <laughs> with the team specification we change uh, also profile. yeah profile also with this uh, experience himself uh, uh, reduce the, the the weight of the uh, feel, uh, flywheels mm -hmm. flywheels and also the bl he reduced the the weight the connecting rods yes but so every everything you could you saved weight and the change the, the, the performance profile a little bit yes. for the camshaft, the profile yes. on the top of the piston for the combustion chamber. Exactly. To of course the carburetor. Power. Yes, of course the carburetor. That is two two body carburetors. Okay. And uh, and everything uh, it's very important to understand that this work takes 12 months to the teams. Uh, make uh, uh, a piston with own specification, uh, reduce weight uh, for BHL and other parts. Uh, you can do that only if you have a huge experience about this kind of engine, engine and and, and engine in the in the general. Or it will definitely explode. Yes, <laughs> and uh, if you don't know yes, what you're doing. <laughs> yes, all, all consider that. The owner of the team himself, that is 80 years old, wow. do that. For this reason, I say this kind of uh, 120 set is unique because it's very, very, very difficult to find someone with so big experience spend 12 months in a car that at the end of the world is not an expensive car. Because it's a Fiat 127, you can work yes. 12 months in a Porsche because the value is very high, yes. Ferrari or very are other valuable car. But with so cheap car, spend 12 months uh, is very rare. Classic. It's very rare. <laughs> it's very rare, and only if you are drive from the passion. Me, myself, of course, and the owner of the team that decide to follow me in this crazy project. And all of us uh, at the Motor and Bug, we're all fueled with the same passion, you know that? Yeah. But and, uh, uh, everybody is, I'm sorry for interrupting my friend, but everybody is waiting to hear the number. Yes. What have you achieved? With the modification, Can allora, you put it on, uh, on the con test bed. Or? Consider that it's not because in a aspirate, natural aspirate uh, engine, uh, we take it off probably uh, other 25 uh, horsepower more than. But what change a lot? 25 more horsepower. Yes, without uh, on top with, of 45. How much is that? It's around <laughs> 70 horsepower. The engine remain 9, uh, 903 cc. 
Ah, is 993. 903. 903. 903. So less than one liter. Yes, less so than one liter. Horsepower. Yes, more or less. The, the limited uh, about the, the red, uh, the red, rev, line. red yeah. line is uh, around 8,500. 8, 8,500 RPM. RPM, yeah. yes. The, we, of course, uh, improve the capa capability of the, the engine, cooling the cooling system. Yes. Also, for we had uh, an oil, cool oil cooling system. Yeah, oil radiator is right Yes. Here. We did uh, also, we put the five gears, uh, the five speed gearbox. Five speed, from, yes. From, from uh, Fiat Uno should be. We talk from Fiat Uno and we put inside. But we also is very, create very, very sophisticated uh, sock that uh, is totally made on the specification of the uh, of the team principle. That means that we, 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 we didn't bought anything from, from the stock, from someone that uh, imagined that part from many kind of vehicle. Will be good for this one. Uh, yes. It's not going to be good for this setup. Yes. Because the setup is important, as we talked about yes, in, yes, in the first part yes. of our talk, right? You, you must How consider... How you set up the car is very important. Yes, right? because you must consider that everything, the socks, the engine, the, the shocks. pistons, the shocks, the pistons, yes. everything is made uh, custom. custom for this car, not this kind yes. of, so this, exactly this you car. you take this off this car and put on another It's not the same. It's not the it's same. Completely different. Because uh, everything, the dynamic of the vehicle is a, a balance between many factors. Yep. And if you are very, very good, you create everything on your specification in order to have something very, very balanced. We, of course, improve the the brake because you need more power brake power yes with the more power coming from the engine you need yes yes brakes. but also more uh, more power for the engine but if you uh, think 70 horsepower is not a lot but the dynamic of this vehicle that is impressive imagine you have a vehicle like that and you can take corner with 120, 130 kilometers per hour in a proper uh, location. Yes. On a and you are circuit. safe. Yeah, in a circuit. A and you are safe. You are totally safe. The balance is perfect. And that means that, uh, of course, uh, zero, 100 is not the fastest car. But if you uh, have a challenge with these cars against another car so with more horsepower in a circuit, this car is very, very valuable. It's very capable. Yes. And we also change something inside, of course. Which is? Uh, like the the the, the, the um, cruscotto, il, uh, il cockpit. The dashboard is different. The dashboard is different because it's handmade in carbon fiber. With carbon the, fiber dashboard. Yeah, with the information that we need. That in the past, uh, in the original version, we don't have uh, pressure of the oil, temperature of temperature the oil, of the oil temperature, temperature, also yeah. temperature of the engine. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the most one of the most important, the RPM. We ah, didn't have. There was no, no rev counter. No, no, in the, in the original version. It's a, it's a little black hole in uh, your history with this car. You never drove it in a stock condition. But this car, 127 and 128, as we know, is a big black hole in history or in the memory of many people who do not uh, understand, who didn't do the proper research. This was the... Um, the, the benchmark, this was the layout used by every car manufacturer yes. to manufacture the front wheel drive car. Yes. So, in the sense of, uh, let's say, 
Italy giving us the Renaissance in the 15th century, Dante, un altro Dante, the second Dante, who is Dante Giacosa, who gave the Italy the first, <laughs> let's say, motor to, to motorize the country, which is yes. the original Cinquecento, then looked at all the um, complications and deficiencies of Mini Cooper, started pushing on the Fiat uh, management the idea of front-wheel drive car, but with this layout, transversely mounted engine, gearbox on the left, uh, non-equal length drive shafts for the front wheels. They said, okay, but test it on a different model, which was out of Bianchi. Hmm. So basically this is the automotive or mechanical renaissance yes, that so. Italy gave to the world again, because so. we all know, let's, let's not pretend that we don't know that, that the first Golf, Volkswagen hmm. Golf, a car, car praised by everybody is basically an Italian car made by Germans. Because as, as we that know... That is a very impressive apart, car. Yes, but the design was made by Giugiaro. The exterior design, interior design, and then the mechanics, they basically... Uh, yes, they copied. They, they made... Maybe they made it better or more reliable, I don't know, but... They basically copied everything that was in 128, the Fiat 128, this layout of the engine, because they were coming from the air age of Beetle hmm. themselves. They needed the, the model, the new yes. model for the Volkswagen, and they actually bought, this is the actual story, when Dante Giacosa arrived at Volkswagen to present them with, the, with his um, uh, design of the, their new car, the drawings, he walked through the room where he saw the Fiat 128 completely disassembled with the group of engineers around it. And he stopped and he says, um, asked what's going on? Why, why, why are you doing this? What are you doing with this car? And the answer was, this is the only layout which is perfect for the front wheel drive car and we are just studying how it was made. That's the true story and actually the bits of this we are looking at right now. I yes. don't know if you, right. you knew that but yeah. it's, it's, a, it's an obvious, obvious um, revelation for anybody who is interested in uh, in uh, classic motoring, yeah. Okay, so with that, what do you think? We should take it out for a drive? Yes, of course. Fantastic. Of course. Let's do that.
you know, many many people describe this sensation like a go kart feeling. Yes, could be like a good kart feeling because it's a lightweight car because uh, there is really no electric uh, device between uh, the steering wheel and the wheels and, and the road. There is no electric assistance. That means uh, that everything is or is on your own. Driving this car is no, is never um, a, ba a, a banal emotion. It's not something easy. It's something experience. Every time is a new experience. sensational is authentic also because uh, you don't have today is a very hot day you don't have air co and uh, you can uh, really sweat a lot uh, but it's part of the emotion uh, driving this car you can uh, smell uh, the, the the fuel 100 octane fuel that uh, you use uh, for moving this car and uh, it's something different look like uh, a movie uh, about 1970-1980 when describing the, the race like Le Mans uh, that you can see very sweet person with uh, all pe the smell of uh, petrol on her body, on her clothes uh, and of course it's different from that but you can imagine that sensation <laughs> And also when you're driving uh, feel uh, all mechanics part that working like a clock in uh, one unique mechanism that working in perfectly way you can hear the, va the valve that working uh, the sound changing like that and is a nice 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 experience that uh, is not easy to describe in word you just have to live in here Anyone who has never felt it cannot understand what the passion really is. And this is a quote from Dante Alighieri, the Divine Comedy. And I'm gonna bring you another quote from Wikipedia, but this is the source that anybody can use. The 127 is generally regarded as one of the most influential small cars of all time and more than any other as the car which defined the modern super mini with its body configuration and engineering template being followed in almost all B-segment cars that followed. The 127 featured a state-of-the-art transverse engine front-wheel drive layout with the transmission mounted on the end of the engine. So, Dante Alighieri as the father of Italian language Dante Giacosa as the father of Italian motoring and this probably makes the Fiat 127 the father of all the super mini hatchbacks. Is an Italian symbol for the family that wish to have something with good performance, low price and I'm very proud to uh, elaborate an Italian symbol and put in another level this car and create something that is unique because everybody if you tell about Fiat 127 is yeah yeah it's normal car cheap car there is they don't it's no emotional car the people think but when they see this car they recognize the potentiality of Fiat 127 and can say yes it's an amazing car when you driving it everybody turning the neck, the head, to look in this because the sound, because the style, because the, the body and I'm very happy about that. Thank you for following us.